you remember, we were discussed in our previous uh, session, IAS 8. Yeah, this is material. Oh, I must use this here. And we talked about uh, we started discussing IAS eight and uh, we discussed. I did uh, continue. Mm -hmm. That day we talked about accounting policies. That day we talked about accounting policies. So we we started discussing accounting policies, yeah. and then we also discussed accounting estimates. I think we discussed this, right? Uh, accounting policies, yes, we discussed. Accounting estimates, accounting estimates I... also we discussed. And then we went on to talk about errors. Mm. Errors, I divided the errors into two. Fundamental mm. errors. Nominal. Nominal errors. Yeah. So these all I discussed, yes or no? Uh, to be honest, if you uh, revise this uh, fundamental error. Oh. Uh. The errors that will have a significant impact to your financial reporting will be fundamental errors. And uh, with a serious note, a good example is theft of stocks. Misstating the okay. financial. Information. These are some examples. Now, I don't know, you still remember we talked about the theft of stocks. We talked about it, right? We talked about the theft of yeah. Stop. Now here, one January twenty twenty, thirty first December twenty twenty. So during this period, 
the storekeeper continuously stealing inventory. Storekeeper, uh, we also can name it pilfering. Inventory continuously. Storekeeper pilfering the inventory continuously. That means whether you record it or not, what do you think? Uh, is that will that have a financial impact or not? Yeah, there will be financial impact for the loss. There will be so whether the whether the pilferage is recorded or not. Yet financial impact will be there. Definitely, yeah. And at one point of time, at one point of time, the finance team uncovered the pilferages. What happens, say, here, for example, on 1 November 2020, they found that continuous pilferages are taking place during the year. Clear? Yes or no? Hmm? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah. See, continuous, continuous uh, pilferages are taking place. This has been uncovered on 1 November 2020. So this also could mean this. Previous period. See, if the if this uh, stealing also happens during 2019, for example, and they did not uncover during 2019, they uncovered in 2020. Uh, next year. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, this very good bookkeeper, sorry, storekeeper, uh, continuously having the habit of stealing, but that has been came to light only on one November twenty twenty. Hmm. So it means almost after. Yeah. Nine, no. uh, ten, eleven. Uh, eleven. You said something I which I missed. Mr. Zubair? Yeah, yeah. You were saying something which I didn't hear well. I said it's eleven months for the twenty twenty and some of the months belong to the previous year, twenty nineteen. Uh, he was uh, doing these type of thefts, thefts so, but uh, uh, the financial team got to know and next year. Exactly. Now let's say on 31st December 2019, we prepare 
financial statement, correct? Yeah. In this financial statement, as you know, we have balance sheet, we have PNL, we have cash flow, we, cash we have flow. statement of yeah. changes in equity, and we have not. Correct? Yeah, correct. And if I expand uh, the SOCE, how the SOCE will look like this way? Share capital, return earning, let's say revaluation system, total. And this answer, this answer will be 31st December 2019 balance. Got it clear? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, this balance. After adjusting for the theft or before adjusting for the theft? Hmm? So before, before. Very good. This is not having the impact of the before theft. adjustment and yeah. all the theft. Uh, so the profit uh, we are showing uh, here. Entries are also there. Yeah, the profit we are showing here is a correct profit or wrong profit? The reported profit, the reported profit uh, will be uh, correct or incorrect? It will be no, not correct because uh, he is uh, doing the theft during this period as well. Yeah. So, reported profit on this date is incorrect. Yeah, it's clear? incorrect. Yeah, clear. Okay. Now we go to... SOC. Statement of changes in equity. Yes. 2020. Share capital, return earning, revaluation uh, surplus, and total. Now I will have brought forward on 1 January 2020. Now this number is, suppose, for example, if this number is 102, what do you think this number is? Hmm? So what do you think? Yes, Mr. Zubair. And on 31st December 2019, my return earnings <coughs> or reported, prof uh, reported profit or return earnings, return earnings, Closing balance for this date, if it is 102, the return earning on the, this date, opening balance, how much you think? Uh, Mr. Zubayd, what?
Hello? Yes, Mr. Yeah, sorry. Yes. It was disconnected. I was crossing the tunnel. Sorry. <clears throat> no problem. So, my question was, brother, on 31 December 2019, my return earning is 102. On 1 January yeah. 2020, my return earning should be how much? The same. It's for closing the opening. Very good. This should be the same. Correct? Yeah, so, yeah same. And the current year, movement, mm. meaning current year profit. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And we take the total, this is balance carried forward. Now, since we uncovered the problem on 1 November 2020, for the year 2020, they would have included the recording in the profit and loss account. Correct? Yes or no? They would have, you see, um, for the 2020, mm. That uh, the yeah, effects yeah. of the theft, they will be. They would have updated in the 2020 financial right. itself. Yeah. Yes. So that is part of this. Okay. Yes or no, sir. Hello? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, yes. Wait, wait. I'm sure. So, so twenty twenty we will not have a problem. But twenty nineteen. 2019, we, we found out that there are, uh, there are a num amount that has been quantified as a, a pilferage and which has not been recognized in the financial of 2019. Correct? Mm. Yeah, so yeah. now what do we need to do? So can you, then uh, we can you argue, ah, okay, that has happened in 2019. Now we are in 2020, so we don't need to do anything. Can you argue like this? No, we have to do. We have to make uh, the changes in the profit and we have to make uh, the adjustment here in uh, 2020. Okay. Now, we need to study something called Changes, yeah. There are two types of changes. One is prospective changes, other one is retrospective changes. Okay. In order to do the change, which method to choose, it depends on what type of change we need to do. The fund, if you have a fundamental error, then this will result into a Retrospective change. Retro 
passive retros that's of passive retrospective changes uh, i i need to uh, please uh, bear with me yeah Hello. 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 So, yeah, hello. There are, uh, if the error relates to fundamental error, then we have to do something called retrospective changes. Mr. Zubair? We have to do what you call retrospective changes. So you are hearing me, right? Mr. Zubair, please confirm me that you are hearing my voice. Yes, Mr. Zubair. Yeah, yeah, sorry, uh, disconnected. I'm really sorry, sir. No problem. And, uh, so, this directive error, yeah. No, if the, if the error is fundamental error, we have to do something called retrospective changes. 
okay okay now we need to understand what the meaning yeah. of retrospective change Can we try to understand? No. Sir, can we try to understand? Reverse, then last year belong to, when last year we have to do retrospective uh, changes. Retrospective changes. Shall we now we will try to understand the meaning of it. You understand this diagram? Hmm? What shall we do now? Better we will today stop the class and then continue. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Subhai, can I suggest something? Mr. Subhai? Mr. Zubed. Hello? Are you there, Mr. Zubair? Mr. Muhammad, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, here, and uh, he is uh, actually he is facing problem with his connectivity. Okay, and uh, you know uh, I got the message with Mr. Hatham as well as he is not able to join today. So, so we then... will uh, postpone the session to Saturday. Is that okay? Yeah, is that okay? But I need to uh, check with Mr. Zubair as he is not with us. Uh... Yeah, Please. I will. Uh, I will text in the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. you know, uh, yeah, I'm not getting the continuous, uh, you know, the discussion to get uh, distract, and I'm finding it a bit difficult to. I hope you understand what I'm trying to mean. Correct, correct, correct. Interaction is very important to make the session smooth. Uh. Okay, no worries. Uh, you can text him. Or you can yeah. text on group that we will meet on. I'm, uh, I'm texting in a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better to save the time and, you know, and uh, yes. deliver it with the presence of yes. Mr. Zubair and Mr. Haitam as well. Okay? Yeah, see you then. Okay, okay.